Living Off Grid has taught us to use electricity differently. So in this video, I'll show how we manage our electricity and some of the appliances that we're using. We have three kilowatts of solar panels and the battery bank is 20 kilowatts. At the beginning of the morning, our batteries are down to 80 or 90% full. The sun's come up in winter and this is a typical morning. The panels are making electricity and we're in the bulk phase of the charging process. Juicer. Toaster. Somewhere between 11 in the morning and 1 in the afternoon, the batteries will become full. So it's a nice day in winter and it's 11 o'clock and we've got full batteries. With full batteries we can use as much electricity as we like. When I started recording this video, it was winter and my batteries were taking till after 11 o'clock to become full. Things have changed. We've now got an extra one kilowatt of power and summer's arrived. We saw the batteries full the other day at 10 past 10 in the morning and I think this is just tremendous. We have a few appliances that are always connected to the mains electricity. There's the water pump for the sinks and the shower, the everyday fridge freezer, a chest freezer we use for storage. We'll normally have about three computers switched on during the day. Bread maker. So Sarah's taken out the bread maker and is making something nice. A few hours later, here's the results. You can see the steam coming off this bread. I hope I'm not making you hungry. Sandwich toaster. Grinder. Electricity usage is featured in both of the ebooks. Mixer. Fan. We have most of the kitchen appliances that everybody else has. The only thing we ever got rid of was our microwave. And the thing that surprises people is we do have an air conditioner. My workshop is full of electrical power tools, but for these I generally use the generator. By four o'clock in the afternoon, the sun's dipped behind the trees. At this point, we stop using the non-essential items, so we're not draining the batteries. By about six in the evening, all we're generally using is the computers. We've now arrived at the point where we just don't have to worry about electricity. It's brilliant. In the early phases of the project, I was forever looking at the volts and the amps and seeing how much we had to go. Now, I check it at bedtime and I don't always even do that. I'm almost always in the 80 to 90 percent full and I top it up when I need to. I like not having electricity bills. I've even got a couple of panels in the shed behind me that I haven't got round to installing anywhere. And I'm probably not going to do that for a little while either. <laughs> press subscribe to follow more of our adventures and please press the like button if you enjoyed this video, it helps the channel. 
For more information about the ebooks, please visit my website at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com.